The House of Representatives on Thursday begins an investigative hearing into the alleged loss of over $2.4 billion revenue accrued from illegal sale of 48 million barrels of crude oil export in 2015, as well as crude oil export from 2014 till date. And first of all, Speaking at the inauguration of the investigative hearing in Abuja, Chairman of the Ad Hoc Committee, Mark Bila, assured Nigerians that the Ad Hoc Committee has resolved to ensure confidentiality of all information that will be provided by whistleblowers as well as recovery of the revenue. The chairman pointed out that the committee had to be set up now, seven years after the incident, because it was brought to the fore in 2020 and the House needed background information for a thorough investigation and outcome. The committee solicited the support of individuals and corporate organizations to enable the committee achieve its mandate. A member of the committee, Ganiu Johnson, explained that as part of efforts to revive the various refineries in the country, the Committee on the State of Refineries visited some of the refineries and gave assurances on the Port Harcourt and Wari refineries coming into full operation by the first and last quarters of next year. Salient issue of a whistleblower in 2020 who raised allegations that certain individuals at the time in government and some allegedly still serving conspired to sell 48 million barrels of Nigeria's crude which resulted in the country's loss of over 2.4 billion dollars. So it is important to point out the fact that our job in line with our constitutional mandate in section 88 and 89 is to investigate. And with regards to the occurrence of this issue, it only came to the fore like several other issues several years later. Even though the matter occurred in 2015, it was only brought to the fore by a whistleblower towards the end of 2020. I remember that was the COVID period. And in, in the time between when that allegation came up and now, there has also been the issue of trying to identify the whistleblowers trying to determine whether or not there was even a reason to commence this investigation. Like I told you earlier, these are individuals who have been expressing fear. So of course they were a little skeptical about providing information until they saw that the House was serious about proceeding with the investigation that they started reaching out. So that is what informed, so the fact that they occurred in 2015 and we're only having this investigation now is, a, is, is, is due to the fact that the issue itself only came to the fore towards the end of 2020 and we had to ensure engagement with the involved individuals and to ascertain their identities because we cannot be involved in spurious investigations. Porter Court we go live after our visit, after our discussions. We go live first quarter of 2023. Porter Court we go. So that is a way forward. At least if we're able to refine some of our crude oil here, we will reduce oil subsidy in the country. 